Hello everyone, welcome to Hitbox Component Overview. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to set it up quickly in some of the features that comes with it. Uh, once you have it uh, in your project, uh, open one of your characters and add the Hitbox Component uh, to it. And all you have to do is initiate the weapon mesh. If your character skeleton have a weapon built into it then you can ignore this step completely you don't need it otherwise as you can see I have a weapon mesh right here attached to my character and the setup for it is you need to add the sockets you create sockets and you can space them uh, to your liking uh, make sure they are close to each other so there is no huge gap that you're gonna miss the target uh, in between then you can see I have an example of applying damage, uh, 50 damage right here. And you need to call the hit result from the component event. Uh, scroll down and just add hit result and link it to your uh, damage system. Uh, the other stuff here, it's unnecessary, it's for demonstration purpose. Uh, you can keep it if you find any and, uh, useful for it otherwise uh, you can get rid of it uh, it's basically some uh, tacks and some uh, weapon switching and ragdolls all right the other thing that we need to do uh, on the character is specifying the object that we are tracing to uh, and some debugging tools right here if you want to change stuff that's it for the character. Uh, next step, and it's actually the main step, it's the attack montage. The way I designed this uh, system is I want to have some freedom. So all the settings are done in the montage rather in the character. Uh, this is going to give you more freedom to uh, you know, have different traces, different settings for each attack. As you can see, this is a sword attack right here. Uh, you need to call the hitbox melee notify and set the start time and the end time. And under the settings, you can see there is a, the type of the attack. In this case, this is an armed attack. And there is also an armed attack. So we'll keep it armed for this one. And the trace type, there is three types, sphere, line, box. And then you can specify the socket name or bone names if it's unarmed. This is only applicable if it's the attack unarmed. Uh, the trace size is also applicable for sphere and boxes only. Line trace, uh, you don't need to, to set the size for it. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate uh, with this current setup and we're gonna change it a bit just so we understand how it works uh, let's go play and equip the sword and as you can see uh, the line trace is right there the good thing about this tool is let's say if your frame rate is very low uh, some of the issues with line traces could cut off and therefore there will be no hit I'm gonna Put it down uh, very low, let's say 20, and we'll try it. Uh, as you can see, it looks terrible, but the line trace is still there. Uh, it's not curved, but it's still there, and it will still apply damage on the enemy, as you can see. Put it back. to 120 so now with the, if we go back to our notify if we change this to sphere for example and we change the size to 5 you can see that uh, the line trace type changed completely and this is useful to uh, select the right trace for your weapon uh, let's say you have different shape different size you can actually uh, 
change it if you want more to be more specific now the other cool thing is if I change this from armed to unarmed then I have to specify uh, the bone name or the socket name from the character skeleton uh, if I choose for example a hand a right hand and I kept everything same now even though we are equipping a sword we're only gonna trace from the hand on and this is what I said it's gonna be more dynamic uh, for your attacks so let's say you have a montage you have a different attacks you have a head a head hip butt or a kick or an elbow or whatnot you can literally specify them here uh, and you can duplicate uh, the anim notify to where the attack actually is and change it you could have this one armed this one not armed this one a kick this one an elbow this one a knee and so on i hope you guys find it useful and help you uh, in your project we're still tracing from the right hand right there we'll fix it later yeah, as i said uh, if you find it useful and